All right. First time using some rub and buff. I think I got this at Michael's for about six bucks a tube. I know there's a bunch of different colors. I bought all of the ones they had at Michael's. It was just this silver and two different types of gold, an antique gold and a gold leaf, it said. Um, but this is silver leaf everywhere that I read online. It says that a little goes a long way. So let's see. I am terrible at judging the amount of paint things need. Outside right now drying is a Spider-Man that I completely overcoated. All right. So, put that much out. Knowing me, that's already too much. My little dog tool. And in fact, a little did go a long way. I put a little too much on that base and then it ended up moving to the spine where a little more silver than I wanted it, but it still really turned out well. By the time I got to the top, I learned that the key was just light dusting. You don't want a lot on the sponge. You don't want a lot of pressure while you're applying. Things really started to come together towards the top. I'm really, really satisfied with how well this came out with really little effort and not bad for my first run at this stuff. I think you can, I mean, rub and buff. I would assume that you could like sand this stuff out too. Let's read the instructions. So good thing I put out all that paint because uh, I think this guy's going to use up a little bit more. And I still didn't learn my lesson. I probably put a little too much to start out with here, but all in all, it came out pretty well. The key here was going with the grains that I was trying to accent. I tried to keep it with the flow of the fur. I also wasn't sure if I was going to do the face or chest, so I kind of paid more attention to the outline there. All in all, I'm really satisfied with how both of these came out for my first run at Rub and Buff.